Welcome back to the channel and today I went in search of the workshop for some of the better space creations that I could find because I have not been on the workshop since the space bound update has come out so I wanted to see what have people been building since they've had an opportunity to build with all these new parts and we are starting off with this thing this is the Mars Explorer by View Aqua and that is the reason why I've spawned on Dune which is the most Mars like planet uh, in my opinion so this thing apparently can work anywhere between 0 and 1G, which is what all the atmosphere is really all, uh, that's the only atmosphere you're gonna have on the space bound map. But let's go ahead and get out of this planet. Look at what this thing is doing right now. That's pretty cool. So the landing gear kind of like comes up to the side there. This thing kind of becomes an X. Oh, we got the multicolored RGB gamer lasers awesome um we got x oh yeah we got our own custom shield oh that shield doesn't look like it's uh, oh i'm pressing the wrong button wait am i pressing the wrong button is that me did i do that all right well it looks like i'm back under control so that's a good thing yeah let's get out of this atmosphere please oh boy okay i blew myself up i'm blowing myself why am i blowing myself up wait why does that i think i'm going too fast oh there we go all right here let's do a repair real quick Okay, don't use cannon when going fast. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, there's cannons there. Here, let me uh, slow down a little bit. We do have the inertia block. All right, I'm gonna use the cannon again. There we go. Yeah, I think I may have been falling down a little bit into the uh, fire. Yeah, the cannon fire. All right, there we go. And then we got those. I think that is all of the controls. Let's check out first person view. First person view looks pretty cool too. I love the, just in space, you're so much less limited in your designs because aerodynamics just matters so little when you're in space. So you can just build these wacky uh, aesthetics and these wacky designs and it doesn't really affect your maneuverability or your functionality that much. So that's what, like, I love the, look at the back of this thing, looks awesome. All right, so up next, this does not look like a space thing. But this is the LK X05 Cyber Ghost Mark III Royal Livery by Lingon Catton. Meant to be used in space, it says. Man, this is a really cool. How did you. Wait, how did you uh, paint this stuff? This is a really cool paint job. Like just painting this line on the edges like this makes it look really cool. Wow. Well done on this. All right, let's actually fly it and see what it's all about. Oh, look at these tails. Right, what number one? Okay, number one toggles on the thrust, but you also have the option to use space for it to be, uh, just hold for thrust. All right. Man, look, and the lasers match, of course. Here, let's actually, let's take this thing into a battle. Wait, what does X do? Oh, brake. That's cool. All right, so that actually does, those do work as brakes if you, uh, spread them out like that. All right, all right, here we go. Let's see how much damage this thing lays down. Oh boy, how much damage can it take, too? Wait, this thing doesn't have any shields. Where are my shields? There we go. This thing's so epic. It does not feel right in space. Well, I guess... I was gonna say this thing doesn't feel right in space because it looks so much like an airplane. But then again, I'm fighting reskinned airplanes in space right now. So there is that. Oh boy. Oh boy, that actually... That took a lot of damage. I think he blew up right on me. Man, this thing, this thing really does look so cool, doesn't it? Whenever it spawns in, it just surprises me how cool it looks. Okay, up next is this weird thing. This is by Metal Burger. This is the MBXCO2 Dwarf, and it has a bit of lore. Despite international objections, a fleet of dwarf mining pods was launched as the advent mapped the asteroidal caves and eliminated hazardous space fauna. They maintained that Metalberg had no right to occupy space or continue their long-standing abusive monopoly on the mining of Lucky Man Iron. With blasters armed, their spaceships held positions around the asteroids, attempting to drive the advent away, but Metalberg refused to bow their, to their threats. After all, they knew that the incoming dwarves were going to outnumber them and that they had potentially lethal mining lasers. After they were compelled to relent, the mining began. It wasn't over, though. In the world and in space, tensions continue to rise. All right, so I don't exactly know what this thing is all about. Oh, look at the the antenna. That's so clever. Having the antenna on a loose uh, steering hinge like that. That is great. 
Man, there's so many interesting designs that I'm like trying to understand. Okay, that is a thruster there. How did you contain the thruster like th Wait, how did you contain? Hold on. Oh, it's complicated. Yeah, you used a small porthole on pistons. Look at this stuff. He's, what? And then you brought those in? That is an amazing design choice. The, the decals. Look at the decals and how they were used here. What? Okay, there's the mining laser, apparently. I think. Oh, and there's a tractor beam. Oh, there's control is to go up, down. Shift is to go up. X is to change the angle. This is cool. We got strafe. We've got forward, back, left, right. Oh, look at my, uh... Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Let me go into first person. What? How did you... What? How did you do this? Is that a real... Are these... Are these real decals? What? How did you have all this stuff? Wait, I'm pressing control to go down and there's actually like a down light. Oh no, this is so clever. This is crazy right here. Wait, why is there a, an M or a W there? I'm so confused. Oh, M is for magnet. What? Okay, hold on a second. I've got to refresh myself on what kind of decals there are apparently. Oh yeah, look at this, the tech button panel. Where did you get the M? Oh, you know what it is, I bet? This is genius. You used the W from Raw, I bet, and you flipped it upside down. Oh no, maybe you used this one from Bulldog. The W from Bulldog, maybe. And then we got these arrows. You literally use the decals on those individual little lights and it works. This is just so crazy. The rest of this build doesn't even like matter. I mean, it all looks great, but this is the most detailed first person interior I've ever seen. Wow, that is insane. Good job on this, man. Okay, up next is the Y-Wing Star Wars by Luke LM7. This is 694 out of 700 complexity. Whoa, look at how great, look at how many greebles. It's all of the greebles ever. This thing looks crazy detailed. What did you do? It just looks like so much texture, you know? I mean, I, I think it's like the cyber uh, texture, the cyber paint job, but then there's also, I believe, other paint textures on top of that. Really subtle, like the dust, you can see right there, the dust paint textures. Oh, this thing is awesome. This thing looks great. And then like the giant rocket boosters. Oh, this is awesome. All right, what else do we got? We got yaw, X, whoa. Oh, apparently apparently we, we can move that entire turret around too. That's pretty cool. All right, that's all the controls there. Man, super well built. Yeah, this is a really impressive design. Oh, even like look at the pipe work there with the greebles. Oh, that's good. Oh, the bottom too is also covered. It's absolutely covered in greebles. Greebles like my new favorite word after this update. Didn't know about it before the update. It's awesome. All right, up next, we have the CS Infiltrator by Watch Me Suck at Games. This thing, I love this paint job with the design. Whoa, that's a, that is a lot of firepower. Oh, look at the back of this too. I wish the guns were a little bit more well hidden, but let's, uh, let's put this thing in the battle. I guess G is for stabilization. Whoa, G is for stabilization. Yeah, so no matter what orientation I'm in, if I press G, pew, those are the gyro stabilizers. They're just going to orient you perfectly upwards. All right, I'm wondering if these guns will actually shoot me if I if I if they get angled too much with the auto lock. Here, let's go do a little bit of a battle here. See what happens. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. Well, that was like a one-shot kill pretty much. Ow. Don't worry about me. There we go. And there's a third one. There he is right there. Man, this thing is deadly. What is that, 10 guns? 10 blasters? Blasters are super powerful. All right, man, and if this thing wasn't an atmosphere, it would be a really aerodynamic. You know what, let's actually test it in an atmosphere. Let's go to Dune, because it has shifts to go, oh boy, oh my, hold on, I don't know what I'm doing. Ow, <laughs> I'm dead. Wait, what happened to my body? You see that? That didn't look normal. So I guess shift is to point up into the sky. Yeah, this thing is super aerodynamic. All right, so if I do G for stabilization, 
Oh, I don't want to land here, but I could. Yeah, so now I can essentially let gravity take me down and then use shift to slow myself down for the descent. I don't actually have a slow down uh, my speed option, I don't think. All right, well done on that design. Okay, up next, we have the Delta 7 B Ethers Sprite class with hyperdrive ring by Kuhaku. It is commonly known as the Jedi Starfighter due to its widespread use by the Jedi. So I guess this is another Star Wars replica. All right, here we go. So I guess left shift is to lift off. Oh, here we go. Oh no, oh boy. It said I could lift off in 1G, barely. Oh, look at that shield. Oh, that's actually, I love the way that that shield is shaped. Here we go. Oh, look at the, look at the, the R2-D2 thing. That's so good. All right, so we've got one for the shield. Left shift is for gimbals, which we don't want in space. We have blasters. There we go. Uh, number th three is the rocket boosters, but I guess we can also press number two and detach completely from the ring. Oh, this looks cool. Actually, I almost like the way this looks better just on its own. I didn't notice a lot of the detail of like the wings and stuff on this thing until I just disconnected it. But the ring can give us, I guess this is the hyperdrive mode. The hyperdrive ring. Yeah, it's called a hyperdrive ring. That is awesome. I wish that the hyperdrive ring uh, kept the thrusters on after it detached, but we don't need that. Oh yeah, this looks awesome. This looks way better without the ring for some reason. All right, this is the Hercules Interstellar Ship 2 made by Exensor. 682 out of 700 complexity. Whoa, this looks like a crazy cargo thing. Whoa, fire in space. Look at that. What? Oh, this thing just, this is a cargo thing. It's got anchor blocks and everything on there. This is not what I was, I don't know what I expected. It, I didn't think it looked like this for some reason. E to detach. Oh, I just detached all of the anchor blocks. So whatever we, uh, it's breaking me. Yeah, whatever we grab, we can detach like that. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Wait, what is going on right now? Whoa. Whoa, it said left all for brakes. These brakes are, it's super thrusters. Look at that. That is crazy. I think there's a thing. I haven't actually played with it myself yet, but I think I've seen what people are doing is um, if you spin, if you counter rotate a sets of inertia blocks, it actually creates a lot of thrust somehow. So that's pretty cool. All right. E G. Whoa. Oh, this thing is versatile. It can go up too, like this. Well, this was an unexpected thing. Did it, did it give a description of like, the ship is there to shuttle the Hercules orbital lander module to interstellar space. Well now, hold on. I need to figure out what the lander module is now. All right, apparently this is the Hercules orbital lander. Okay, wow. What? What is this thing all about? Oh my goodness. Okay, so it said that this was like to transport rovers and stuff to the surface. There must be like an opening thing, right? Number one. Oh, number one is a camera for the inside. So this is a transport vehicle. So the other thing was a transport vehicle for the transport vehicle. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty cool. I like seeing the, the, the debris just float off into space. All right, there's definitely a button to open this. You gotta be kidding me. There's no controls. There's no controls to this thing. Even in the description, nothing says to open the gate, but you put servos in to open the gate and then you didn't actually make it programmed. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny. This is funny to me. It's like this thing has one purpose and one purpose only, but I'm not gonna program it. I'll program everything else. We have the interior cameras to monitor your cargo. You've got the detacher for your rover, but you're not getting that rover out of there because the gate does not open. Okay, up next, we have Solar Gavel 47 by Ice. Starship condensed by a O-type star. What, where is this coming from? The stars also used to power two four-length arrays of high-energy lasers, which deploy from the ship's side. All right, I'm just gonna push buttons and see what happens. Whoa, whoa, this is such a strange design. Oh, this looks beefy though. This looks so cool. All right, we got like mini thrusts and we can turn. We're a little sparky. All right, we got, looks like we got full control ability. 
This is interesting. All right, we got roll like that. Oh, look at the the way it rolls. Like the middle doesn't, it, it spins a little bit too. This is interesting. What about P? Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. It's happening. Wait, what? Oh, we got guns on the front. Oh, and the whole shield. What? This is cool. Oh, and those are cannons up in the front. That is cool. All right, so now if I press P, the shield turns off. All that stuff tries to go back in place. Oh, there it goes. All right, that was awesome. And then the thing stops spinning. All right, I'm activating it again. I want to see the front. Look at that. That was so cool. Oh, I'm just realized. Whoa. We have four layers of shields that gradually, uh, they gradually activated one at a time. Look at that. One, two, three, four. I love the sequenced activation of it. It's so satisfying. That is awesome. That is, it's unnecessary and a, ultimately a detriment to just having everything act, activate at the same time. Oh wait, I'm shooting my own shields? You can shoot your own shields from the interior? I just learned something new. I didn't know that that was possible. Look at that. But yeah, having them all activate in sequence like that is so much more satisfying. It feels so much more like something important is happening. So I like that. Immersion. I'm immersed. Okay, up next is Frigate with Weapons by Calloy. <laughs> It is a, that is a title that is straight and to the point. Structure is too complex? What? You're really gonna make me enable mods for this? All right, why is this thing so complex? Whoa. That looks really cool. All right, whoa, look at those jet uh, rocket engines. All right. Yes. Those, those rocket engines are so epic. Man, look at this stuff. Look at all this stuff. Okay, um, there's gotta be more. Okay, why is the shield? That sounded like I was asking a question and didn't complete it. I was just saying the letter Y activates the shield. Oh, number one activates this thing to turn around a little bit. Oh, and then we got, there's the weapons. That's cool. Yeah, I love these like, these big like mothership style builds are gonna be so cool. But yeah, they are, you are limited in, unless you're really efficient with your building. If you wanna get really detailed, you're gonna be pretty limited with the uh, default build limit. But yeah, I'm just I'm just loving the aesthetics of some of the space stuff. Okay, up next, a vulture, light, salvage, Drake, interplanetary, star citizen. I guess this is a star citizen replica. This is by John T M. Oh uh, yeah, look at this thing. This thing's pretty cool. Whoa, look at those trails. All right, we got some guns up in the front there. Oh boy, this is kind of hard to control. Hold on, what's going on? Stabilize out, stabilize out. There we go. All right, Q and E. For ya. All right, we got braking thrusters as well. That's always nice to have. And then we've also got like a stabilizer for when you need to do a landing or when you need to take off. We got the gimbal jets to take off vertically too. Oh, and the shield, of course. Shield doesn't quite cover the front though. Oh, and oh, oh, that's cool. We actually got magnets so you can pick up stuff right in between the prongs. Oop, and I hopped out. Come back. I like this, uh, this spoiler kind of looking thing on the top. That's pretty cool. That kind of brings, it, it, that just like makes the whole thing to me. That, and then, oh, these pipes going along the sides there. Oh, that's really nicely done with the, the thicker pipes as well. Okay, up next by Phantas12 is the LC26 Comet Crusader. So look at this thing. This is a pretty cool design. So this is like a, just a, just a maneuverable spaceship. This thing actually doesn't even have any, um, any weapons on it. This is just a cool looking build. See, I like, this is really unique. Those wing designs are really unique. The pipes, the circular pipe pieces going, and then they have the wedge pieces coming out from the pipes there. We also got greebles on the sides. You know, it's interesting. I've seen a lot of people are choosing to place greebles, but negate the uh, the LED aspect of them because if you have these greebles and you color them, see, they're both black, but if I do the secondary color, anything other than black, it's just going to be LED like that. But a lot of people are just turning off the lights on these things, which is a really unique choice. I mean, it works though. Like, look at it. It just makes it look just visually interesting, but not too much. It's just, it's just subtle. It's like just subtle detail. So I'm learning. I'm learning a lot about like little design choices that could be really nice. Okay, up next, we have the Might Interceptor by Darkling. It is a single seat combat spacecraft. And I got to admit, when I saw the build uh, blueprint, it looked way bigger. I thought this was going to be like a one of those big ships. 
but this is not one of those big ships. This has a bunch of guns too. Oh, oh boy, here we go. Um, number one. Oh, we got shields. Whoa, we have EMPs with rockets. That's actually really interesting. It's automatic, so when I wait for them to recharge, when I press number two, it fires them both at the same time, but it appears that the EMP has a faster uh, travel speed than the rockets, so that's actually kind of perfect because then the EMPs will take out the shields and then the rockets should hit immediately after as long as they have a good lock. So that is, that's an interesting choice. I like that choice. All right, this thing also has like strafe capabilities if you wanted it to and like all kinds of other controls. Yeah, this thing looks like it is ready for atmospheric landing and stuff. Yeah, this is awesome. Some of these designs are so cool. Like, look at the front of this thing. I'm always creating pointy ships, but like, you don't need to. You don't need to create a pointy ship. You don't need aerodynamics in space. All right, and then up last, we have the Arc Class Dreadnought by Arceus Master. It is the most advanced and heavily armed and armored ship in the human fleet, being the first ship to be outfitted with laser cannons that had been reverse engineered from the aliens. The Arc is also the flagship for human migrations if the, if the need arises, being named after Noah's Ark. Warning, complexity mod required. How much complexity are we looking at here? It's not even telling me. It's 600. Okay, I need to increase this. It just the blocks though. I'm just going to go 3000. How about that? It is 1799 out of 3000. Whoa, look at all the aiming reticles. I'm going to click the button. Whoa, that was one click. That's crazy. What are the back ones? Oh, the back ones are cannons too. See, this, this is what I was talking about. These freighters, this is the kind of stuff I was looking forward to seeing. And yep, this thing needed the complexity mod as well. This is awesome. Oh, and of course, of course you can turn them 90 degrees either direction. Look at that. So now, what was the button? No, not that one. There we go. Oh my goodness. You know what? I have to bring this thing somewhere where there's enemies. I got to figure out what the other controls are, though. Oh, we got a whole bunch of those, too. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks cool. That's awesome. Okay. What is it? H? Why is there a horn? We're in space. We're in space, okay? All right. Um, I need to battle someone with this thing. Okay, I am... I am not doing well here. All right, hold on. Repair. Whoa! Did you see the reticles going crazy with the repair? Alright, I don't know if this thing is capable of, uh... Whoops! I don't know how I even did that. How is that happening? Repair. That is crazy! Alright, I need- Alright, can you just get in front of- Can you just get in front of me? Just get in front of my weapons? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Oh, I was going up and all my cannons are above me, so... That is so epic, though. I am here for that. All right, so do not fire the cannons while uh, raising altitude. All right, I need to go to where the enemies are. All right, yeah, you do not want to see this thing warp in from hyperspace through a wormhole and appear in your sector and just ominously start lowering itself and maneuvering towards your mother ship. All right, I want to give them a chance to like shoot at me and stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're doing it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Calm down now. Calm down now. Calm down now. All right. Here, let's stop dropping. Let's neutralize out here. All right, we got a break as well. All right, here we go. We've taken some damage but I think we're going to be okay. It's just that one that's on me. Oh, no, we got more than one now. I died? I died? I'm in, like, the deadliest thing ever created for space, and I died that quickly? All right, well, I wish it could have gone a different way. You were the best freighter I've ever driven. Yeah, this thing is so cool looking. So, which one of these was your favorite creation of the new space update? Let me know down in the comments below. 
And uh, I just cannot wait to see what else you guys come up with. Make sure you are you're a member of my Discord, because at some point I'm going to be doing a Your Best Builds, and I really hope a lot of Your Best Builds are going to be recent space-themed uh, space ones for Trailmakers. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, you're probably going to enjoy some more stuff that you're going to find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.